Will I feel totally comfortable using they, them pronouns at my wedding in front of my whole family? Come on, Magic 8-Ball, please. I'll look not so good. What the f Well, even if I don't feel comfortable, it's okay. Yeah, I'll however you feel, that's the way you feel. Exactly, you're right. What's up? Welcome to Broadly Hotline. Today's topic is pronouns. I'm super excited to introduce our guest today, Tom Phelan, trans actor who got his breakout role in The Fosters. He's here today to give us some advice and education on preferred pronouns. Welcome, Tom. Hi, guys. Thank Hi. you so much for having me. Of course. Ugh. Can you talk a little bit about when you realized that you wanted to identify as trans? I came out as a lesbian when I was like 14. Uh -huh. And I was a lesbian and then I was a non-binary lesbian. And then I just was like, oh, I, all of this has just been me wanting to be a gay man. Like that's just kind of what it's always sort of been at the seed of it. And yeah. then I was like, oh, I can just do that. Like if I decide I want that, I can just be like, yeah, that's, yes, that's me. I identify as non-binary, mm -hmm. but it took me a really long time to be able to say that. Some people, even in our own community, would challenge somebody that didn't look genderqueer. Get How would that. you define genderqueer? Uh, not identifying with man or woman, being sort of either outside or between the gender binary, however you want to visually conceptualize it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just someone who uh, doesn't really feel connected to the binary system. Can you be trans and genderqueer at the same time? Definitely. Okay. I know many, many. Yeah, I hear people say this all the time. Oh, they, them, theirs, that's just too difficult. <laughs> I can't, I'm just like a grammar freak. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Anyone who says that they, them, theirs is difficult is like just. It's like, come on. A month. Like, it's like, genuinely, come on. you already use it in your daily life. I guarantee you. It's like any habit. Do it for 12 days and you'll get it Thank down. Thank you. <laughs> like Malcolm Gladwell <laughs> said, if you practice for whatever hours, like you're gonna get it. Okay, let's hear the first voicemail. Hey, my name is Olivia. Um, I have a question. I am you know, all for using the correct gender pronouns for people. Um, but I do feel a little uncomfortable when I'm meeting someone for the first time. Am I supposed to ask every new person that I meet what their preferred pronoun is? Or do I just assume what their gender identity is? I think sensitivity and compassion above all. Right. Um, because you certainly don't want to out them in public or make them feel weird or like you clocked them or something. Don't treat them like they're like, different species in the building and you need to go find out, you know, because you don't want to get yourself into any trouble. And if you end up in a conversation with them and feel that it's an appropriate thing by what you're sensing, definitely do ask and ask in a very respectful and loving way. There, there's something really kind of incredible about feeling seen and like someone, when someone asks you your pronouns, like, oh, I thank you. Like, thank you for right. that for taking that consideration. Okay, so I've been dating this really cool guy for the past few months, but recently I decided to switch my pronouns to they. I'd become a lot more comfortable with my genderqueer identity. The problem is he's a hetero dude and he wonders that if I no longer identify as a woman, should we even be dating? I don't know. Kudos to you for, you know, doing this and, and feeling like strong enough to do this. Thinking outside the binary is extremely difficult for people. If it really bothers him that maybe this isn't, you know, the, the right relationship for you. If he can't accept that about you, then that can be like a deal breaker and that's really up to you. I think it can also be like super sexy. You know what I mean? Cause like, I when, when I started like to like accept the fact that like, I feel like I have a dick, it kind of like opened up my sexuality in this way where I could like experience different kinds of roles and different kinds of like play with different partners. It could really open up your boyfriend in this really cool way to be like more queer identified because honestly being queer is like amazing. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun. fun. This is healthy stuff here. Yeah. 